हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर कल्याण आई एम ए सीनियर न्यूरोसर्जन एंड स्पाइन सर्जन फ्रॉम हैदराबाद आई एम स्पेशली ट्रेंड इन की ओल स्पाइन सर्जरीज एंड की ओल स्कल बेस सर्जरीज आर एंडोस्कोपिक स्पाइन सर्जरीज एंड एंडोस्कोपिक स्कल बेस सर्जरीज आई हैव एक्सटेंसिव एक्सपीरियंस इन डीलिंग विद वेरियस कंडीशन ऑफ स्पाइन एंड ब्रेन the various conditions of spine include degenerative diseases like the slip disc spondylolisthesis and also spinal cord trauma vertebral cord injuries spinal cord tumors like glioma ependymomas and congenital diseases like uh, spina bifida tethered cord syndrome and also have extensive experience in dealing with brain tumors which are both malignant and benign how long does sciatica last that is Once we start treatment for sciatica, within what duration of time that is the patient relieved of the pains and symptoms? This becomes important because this is important for the patient to plan his work for how many days he need to take his leave. In majority of the cases of sciatica, we try to treat the patient by conservative management. What do you mean by conservative management? Conservative management is trying to cure a patient by using a combination of treatments without surgery what does this combination of treatment involve this combination involves a combination of bed rest combination of medicines exercises and physiotherapy <coughs> and physiotherapy so if prescri- we prescribe them a uh, bed rest of short duration we prescribe them a complicate combination of painkillers neurotropic drugs multivitamins we prescribe them some exercises and we give some physiotherapy in the form of ift or deep wave ultrasound with this kind of conservative management we expect around 70 to 90% of the patients to be relieved of their symptoms and this occurs usually within a duration but within 4 to 5 days the patient should uh, should perceive a significant improvement in his symptoms he should be able to start walking about and within 3 weeks he should be relieved of his symptoms max usually by 90% but this conservative to management succeeds in 70 to 90% of the patient the remaining 10 to 20% of the patient will be not be will not be relieved of this treatment then they will require a further treatment either a, pro- a prolonged conservative management or in some cases surgery this is when the patient has the first episode of sciatica but as the number of episodes of sciatic increases as the recurrence suppose the patient is suffering from the sciatic for the third time or fourth time and sometimes at 10th or 15th time as the episodes become more and more severe and more and more frequent the sciatica sciatica acute the chronic phase this chronic phase of sciatica is difficult they are difficult to treat with conservative management majority will require surgery and they will require a prolonged duration of treatment compared to an acute phase so it becomes very important on the behalf of the patient to have the treatment in the first episode and to take preventive measures to prevent the second third and fourth episodes thank you